Are you watching the Korean dating reality show Transit Love Season 3? Then you might be aware of Lee Chang Jin, the participant who entered the show during the 8th or 9th episode. By this time, almost every participant in the show had found someone they were interested in, except for Dahe, who still had strong lingering feelings for her ex. So when Chang Jin entered the show, we could see a potential couple being formed. Now from the introduction, we could understand that Chang Jin entered the show only to meet Yoo Jung and see if there is a chance of getting back together. But if you see from Yoo Jung's side, she already developed a crush on Joo Won and was hoping that this new relationship could work out. Now in the midst of this confusion, Dahe became very proactive in approaching Chang Jin. She used to check upon him whether he is comfortable or not, whether he is able to settle in or not since the environment was very stressful for him. And both of them ended up opening up to each other. As per the show's concept, every participant is supposed to go on dates but not with their ex. So since Chang Jin spoke the most with Dahe, he chose her as his first date. And it went well. After that, they went on many unofficial dates and they became comfortable around each other. Now here comes the twist. In every potential couple, we expect to see some kind of spark or chemistry between them. Of course, being able to open up to each other and being comfortable around each other is the first step. But after a point, you need to have some kind of vibe or attraction to move forward in the relationship, which I think the viewers are missing in the case of Dahe and Chang. Now if we go back and think about the type of dates they went to, the conversations they had and what they enjoyed the most, food was number one. They loved exploring dishes together. Second was driving and joking about random things. Third was going on mountain biking and watching the scenery. So all these things friends definitely would love to do with each other. And we have to remember that both of them are around the same age and both of them have a childish behavior in them, which is a good thing. So their vibe and personality match with each other. Now again coming back to the purpose of the show, it is to find a partner with whom you can see a potential future with. But that does not mean that you need to fall in love and that also within a certain time limit. Now what we understand about Chang Jin from the show is, he is stable in his life and job and he is looking for a partner who is mature enough to understand there will be good and bad days and together they will be able to overcome that. Now coming to Dahe, she already had a fair share of bad days and it will take her a little more extra time to come out of those 13 years. So her partner needs to be a little more understanding and patient. What I feel is, at the end, if both of them don't go end up with their exes, they will definitely give this new grown friendship a shot.